coming out of a season that there was a decent amount of suffering for me to an extent, I now want to look at suffering in a different light. And rather than on the flip side of suffering, seeing that it matured me, allowing myself to see that in the presence of suffering while I'm going through it, being able to still give glory to God and to still see his goodness even through difficulty and suffering. Another is just time of solitude and quiet. Like I said, I don't do well or I didn't do well. I didn't do well before this week. And so for me, that's something that I want to incorporate going forward, whether it's 10 minutes in the morning and 10 minutes at night and being able to find an hour throughout my week to just sit. That's one thing that I really want to do because it forces me to just slow down and to listen, which is important. And another piece is like incorporating daily time for God at the start of my day so that that sets the tone for the rest of my day. And that can go hand in hand with going on a walk or sitting in scripture and then going on a walk so that I can meditate on the scripture that I just read. So there's a lot of little things that I want to start incorporating um, to add a little bit of structure, but also to just like so many of the points that were made are how to handle situations or like shifting our mindset um, and giving more glory to God even through so much of life. You don't have to fit in a box. You don't have to be the perfect Christian because there isn't a perfect Christian. You don't have to be someone who in others' eyes is seen to be extremely faithful. Wherever you're at in your journey with God, come. It's a place where you'll be able to explore your relationship with Him. You'll be able to explore who you are as a person and what you want to do next. And I think that that's important for anyone who's even considering coming to think about because oftentimes people will be hesitant because I don't have the faith or I don't go to church or um, I don't pray or any of those little things. It doesn't matter. It's a place of compassion and mercy and love and you will be shown those things regardless of who you are, what you've done in your past, or where your walk is with the Lord.